Eddie O'Sullivan, how are preparations going for your first World Cup game against the team you coached in the previous two World Cups, Ireland? Well, to be honest, I'm totally psyched. Uh, you know, I suppose uh, four years is a long time in sport. Uh, this time four years ago, it was September 2007. Uh, four years on, it's September 2011. You know, so that says it all, really. Uh, but overall, it's uh, totally awesome, you know. Well, what about facing your old team? You, of course, managed Ireland for seven years and didn't ever quite manage to win a Six Nations. Then Declan Kidney comes along and wins a Grand Slam in his first attempt. You must have been delighted for him, were you? Oh, fucking thrilled, yeah. Um, I suppose, you know, you've got, you got to park it and move on. Uh, you can't dwell on the past, you know. And I've certainly no problem defending uh, my time as Ireland coach. No problem defending the fact that I overlooked Jamie Heaslip, uh, who's turned out to be, I suppose, one of the best number eights in the world. Or indeed, uh, Pig and Gavin Duffy ahead of Tommy Bow, who's turned out to be one of the best wings in the world. And even though I made a pig's arse of every World Cup uh, with Ireland, uh, sometimes you've got to squeeze out the pips before you can suck on a lemon. You know? uh, they say you learn from your mistakes, Eddie. Uh, you must be a genius. But what have you actually learned, Eddie? What does it all mean at the end of the day? Well, I said to the guys, you know, I call them guys, you know, because they're American, you know, relate to them, you know. I said to the guys, I said, you know, you know, you can't whisk an egg with a cheese grater. Uh, sometimes you've got to husk the corn before you go picking strawberries. Uh, I don't think they knew what I meant by that, but sure, fuck it, nobody ever does, you know. Don't look at me like that, you goddamn schmuck. I haven't changed a bit. Thanks, Eddie. Can I be your friend? <laughs>